long. When they sense danger, they can actually turn their stinging cells outwards, increasing their surface area and making them even more deadly. The box jellyfish is found in coastal waters around Australia and other parts of the Indo-Pacific region. These animals typically live in areas close to shore where they feed on plankton and other small fish. But during certain times of the year, they can migrate further offshore in search of food. During these migrations, they often come into contact with swimmers and divers who are in for a nasty surprise. Their sting is extremely painful and can cause paralysis, leading to death within minutes. One of the worst parts about being stung by a box jellyfish is that their sting cells can remain active on your skin for days, meaning that you lines be in constant pain and at risk of further injury if you go back into the water. If you ever encounter a box jellyfish, it's important to act fast. You should immediately pluck the tentacles off with tweezers or a credit card and then vinegar to stop the stinging. Then you can rinse the area with seawater and apply a hot compress. If possible, you should also seek medical attention right away. With quick treatment, you can make a full recovery. But it's important to act fast and not waste any time. Number 3. Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile is one of the largest reptiles in the world. They are found in brackish waters in India, Southeast Asia, and Northern Australia. They are known to be highly aggressive and territorial, attacking anything that enters their space. Saltwater crocodiles are opportunistic hunters, feeding on a variety of prey including fish, birds, mammals, and even other reptiles. They are especially drawn to areas where prey is abundant, such as river deltas and mangrove swamps. Unfortunately, humans are sometimes mistaken for their prey and attacked. When a saltwater crocodile attacks, they use their powerful jaws and sharp teeth to grab onto their victim and drag them into the water. Once in the water, they use their strong tails to keep themselves upright and thrash around until their victim is dead. Then they eat their prey whole. In order to avoid an attack from a saltwater crocodile, it's important to be aware of your surroundings. If you're swimming in a river or lake, be sure to stay close to shore and avoid going in too deep. Also, never swim at night or in murky water as this makes it easier for crocodiles to ambush their prey. Finally, if you do see a crocodile, don't try to swim away. Instead, try to stay calm and exit the water slowly. If the crocodile becomes aggressive, you